Hi everyone, my name is Rebecca and I'm going to read you a story today. It's called The Worry Tiger. It's by Alexandra Page and Steph Murphy. And this book also has some beautiful drawings in it. Um, it's a really nice story about how to manage your worries. And it also has some easy mindfulness exercises that help with relaxation at the end um, that you can also try when you read this story. So let's get started. Long after bedtime, Rory was wide awake. It was his turn for show and tell at school the next day, but he wasn't ready. What could he share that was special? His thoughts felt as tangly as tree roots. His worries roared like the rain. Rory wanted to hide. Rory curled up inside his den, but his worries followed him. Strange sounds began to hum and thrum. Shadows rippled over the walls. The air felt hot and sticky. Rory looked out. A jungle was growing. Ferns unfurled from the floor. Creepers clambered up the curtains. Trees towered to the night sky. Suddenly, Rory heard a drum deep her and a mighty tiger padded out of the den rory wanted to run until he heard her say in a friendly voice hello rory i am your worry tiger rory came closer and reached up nervously the tiger's whiskers felt ticklish where are we rory asked come with me said the tiger and i'll show you around there are lots of things to see and many wonders to be found. The jungle was a jumble of strange shapes and sounds and smells, but the tiger made almost no sound at all as she sauntered through the trees. Try this, said the tiger. See how quiet you can be. Tiptoe like a tiger and tell me what you see. Rory crept quietly. He felt soft, squelchy earth and damp leaves curling between his toes. Suddenly he saw fireflies, Rory gasped. As they followed the twinkling lights, the jungle buzzed, clicked, whirred and whooped around them. Close your eyes, said the tiger, and focus near and far. Listen like a tiger and tell me what you hear. Rory concentrated. I hear crickets, he said. Frogs croaking in the trees and monkeys laughed Rory. They swooped and swung through the jungle. Stretch, called the tiger. Lift your arms up high. Clamber like a tiger until you see the sky. Rory reached up into the branches. He climbed higher and higher with the worry tiger by his side until they broke through the treetops. We're so high up, Rory said. Breathe in, said the tiger. Let your tummy swell. Then breathe out like a tiger and tell me what you smell. Rory inhaled the sweet night air. Fruit and flowers, he said, and I think I smell rain. Then we'd better hurry, said the tiger. It will soon be wet again. Rory and the tiger raced back to the den while raindrop pitter pattered all around them. Will you still be here tomorrow, tiger? Rory asked sleepily. But the worry tiger had already curled up and closed her eyes. Rory snuggled into her soft warmth. When Rory woke, his den was stripy with sunlight. Tiger, he called, but she wasn't there. Sc school started soon and Rory still had nothing special to share. Then he had an idea. When Rory's turn came for show and tell, his thoughts began to tangle and his worries began to roar. But he remembered what the tiger had taught him. He took a long, deep breath and showed the picture he had made. This is my worry tiger, he said. She helped me to feel calm. That's very special, Rory, said his teacher. Would you like to tell us more? And he did. Being mindful of ourselves and the world around us can help us to feel calm. Here are some things to try. 
tiptoe like a tiger. Move slowly across the floor, being as quiet as you can, like a tiger prowling through the jungle. Try to describe what you can see and feel. Listen like a tiger. Sit or lie down somewhere comfy and close your eyes. Listen to the world around you. Name the different sounds you can hear. Stretch like a tiger. Stretch your arms as wide as they can go. Reach up towards the sky as if you are touching the treetops. Try to imagine what you might find up there. Breathe like a tiger. Sitting or lying down, take big tiger breaths in through your nose and out again through your mouth. You could put a favourite soft toy on top of your tummy and watch it rise and fall. Make a tiger. Drawing, painting and being creative are good ways to feel calm. Try making a picture of a tiger or another animal you like. Thank you for listening to my story today. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and you can always go back and try those exercises again.